Hello, uh, me again, Mrs Hewitt, Mrs Hewitt Spelling at Home. We've got another Key Stage 2 session for you today, a word study session looking at a root word and then building um, more words using that root uh, with our prefixes and suffixes. So today's root word is this one. It is vac, okay, and that's from the Latin vacare, so it's be empty or void, originally from Proto-Indo-European, so going way back, um, which was a whack with a W, which was to leave or abandon. So lots and lots of words that are now in our English language, as well as in other Romance languages, come from that Latin, and they have that root, um, and they should all mean something to do with leaving or being empty. Okay, so I will share our morpheme grid, and again, there are quite a lot of roots with this one, so quite a lot of pathways that you can make. So I'm going to hold it right up to the screen, and I want you to see which words you can build. And don't forget, as you're building the words, think about those meanings and think about if, how they relate to being empty. Okay, so here is your grid for today. Okay, and remember, you can keep that paused for as long as you want, okay? So you can build as many as words as you can try to do. Have a little competition at home, see who can make the most words, things like that. But um, lots and lots of words from that grid. So here are some of the ones that I want to talk to you about today. We've got um, vacate, okay? So that's vac plus the eight, which makes the verb. So vacate, if you vacate something, you leave it empty, okay? So when you leave somewhere, you would vacate it. We've got vacuum okay so a vacuum is something with nothing in it at all there's no air um it's an empty an empty thing okay so that's where that comes from a vacuum we've got a vacation okay so um again if you go on vacation you're actually leaving your home empty because you're going somewhere else so vacation is like a holiday um but actually it's around leaving and going somewhere new rather than it being the place you're going to so the vacation is um like a holiday so you're leaving your space empty and again remember there's that spelling rule because we're adding the ian suffix that starts with the vowel we drop that e and there's that rule around that shun again remember it's from vacate with a t so it's a t i o n but it's the i o n which is actually the suffix which makes it the noun We've got evacuated. So now we've got this prefix with the e, okay? And that actually comes from the prefix x, ex, but because we've got this v here, the x is dropped. It assimilates just to make evac. So x, or with an e at the start, tends to mean um, thoroughly, or it can mean leaving, going out. So if you think of an evacuation, is actually the process of um, leaving and fleeing that space. Okay, so you're actually forcing something to then be empty. So we've got evacuated. And again, we've got the two E's. And we have evacuate as the verb, uh, the imp um, infinitive verb. And then we have the ED on the end for the past tense. We drop one of those E's. And we have evacuated. Vacantly. If you do something emptily, it's vacantly. Okay, uh, so that's the adverb with the LY. And then we've got an evacuee with that double E on the end tends to be the person that is doing it. So an evacuee is somebody that is being evacuated. It's happening to them like an employee is somebody that is being employed. An evacuee is somebody that is being evacuated. That relates to the person. OK, so lots of other words you could have had. I didn't have them, but we had um, you could have vacuous. We've got vacant, vacation vacating, um, evacuation, lots and lots of words down those pathways, okay? But all relating to that vacant being empty. Even think about your toilet, it says vacant or occupied, doesn't it? If it's vacant, it means you can go in because it is empty. And that comes from that vac root. So that's something that you can remember, okay? And you can use that to help you read words, help you spell your words, and help you understand meanings of new words that you come across. Um, a word that sometimes is used in reading to describe somebody is that they are vacuous and that actually means they're a bit empty headed. Um, so, again, you may not have known that, but if you know what vac means, you might be able to figure out what vacuous means. OK, so it's all about using those root words to help you figure out new meanings. OK, your job now is to go and try and write a couple of sentences using our vac words. 
Um, so good luck with that. I hope you come up with some really good sentences and I will see you back here tomorrow for another word study session. Bye.